So as you can see, morning. Mark's put um, this bit of fencing around the trees because Ida has start starts nibbling at the bark, um, which mean, means for the last few weeks they've not been allowed in. Um, it's <laughs> I don't know who that is deciding to be king of the castle. I think it's probably Mrs. Scaredy Cat put it. It's a bit dark, you can't see them, they're all under there. Very quiet, I'm very pleased to be in here. God, that cockerel's really coming along now. So yesterday we went down. Hello, Mrs. Scraggy. Look at the state of you. Hello. We went down yesterday to put them to bed and in the post box, because we used the old post box to create nest boxes. Um, we got the cardboard next box, nest boxes. Nest boxes. But there was an egg. And I think the egg came from her. Because she is more red her comb and wattles are more red than her sister and he's got hiccups so he's looking rather magnificent he's still not fully mature he's going to be different to the other cockerel yeah he's got red on him which is very pretty oh dear yeah so the brahma in front of him just or just behind him is paler her comb and wattles are paler um but hers are red so i think the egg was from her so that's good i'm really pleased that she found the post box and you know has been up and found the um the boxes and hopefully they're not big enough to get comfortable in to go broody because that will be the thing won't it if they're if she gets broody in there, it's not very big. Are you up there? Because it's easier. It keeps out of people's way. Huh? Does that keep you safe up there? You look a bit hunched. And I'm hoping that the reason you're hunched is because you're just standing there being hunched. And that there's not anything wrong with you. He hasn't started crowing yet. That's always funny when you when they start crowing for the first time, isn't it? Huh? You okay? Huh? Anything in here that takes your fancy? Any nice food? It's quite cool and damp out here today. Still mild, I suppose, for November, but cool. So somebody's tested this box out because that's all been flattened. Nobody's been in the middle box. And this is where the egg was last night. So hopefully there'll be an egg in there tonight. That's really pleasing.
I've decided to um, find a cleaner, somebody to come in and clean weekly. We haven't had somebody coming in to clean for well, a couple of years now. And we used to have somebody coming in. When I first had PMR, we had somebody coming in every couple of weeks, but I don't really like having people coming into the house. It's just... Um, it's because we don't have a routine because we don't, you know, when we, we do what we want, we get up when we want. I mean, we're always up anyway at a reasonable time, but it's like not having to get up, not having someone come to the house, not having to be ready for someone to come in. I um, much prefer, but I reached a point last night where I was cleaning the downstairs toilet um, and hurting my hands holding the loo brush and well just hurting my hands because the toilet needed cleaning um, and thought I need I need to get somebody to come in and clean and I need to accept the fact that I can't do it and it's um, it's hard to it's hard to accept that um, and, and I think the problem is is that you know, it's the thing about this is that people will look at you and think, well, you don't look ill. Um, and I don't look ill. Uh, and I'm not ill. I'm in pain. And um, it's it's just so hard to give in to that because of... And I think it's because people judge. And um, and then I judge in my, in my head. Um, <laughs> well, they look funny over there. Well, they're all there. So yes, I'm going to look for somebody to come in and clean weekly and just enjoy the house being cleaned weekly and ignore the um, the inconvenience, I suppose, of having somebody coming in once a week. What a lovely group of chickens you are. Is that nice there? Are you watching over them, Mr Cockrell? Are you? Huh? It's a good job gardening's not my thing, isn't it, really? Huh? Oh, it's off again. There's a big difference, isn't there? You really can see the difference between the colour of their wattles. She is paler. Oh, 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 oh. What are you doing? Huh? Did she give you what, tell you what for? I see lots of things about don't clear your leaves up, don't rake your leaves. There's lots of insects under there for the birds. I don't know what they say that, I mean, we don't clear leaves up anyway. Not, it's been a long time. You might used to sweep the leaves, but not now. I wonder what it is. Oh, it's, they're on the wall. The moss on the wall. I wonder what's in the moss or whether it's just the moss they're after. that nice? Hmm. So I did ask Ludo about um, getting me some more um, of these expats. And he has replied saying he'll keep an eye out and look for them. But um, I don't know. We'll, ha we'll have to keep them separate for a while. That's going to be interesting. But it'll be good to have a sort of some regular eggs for a while. And, and then we'll end up with too many eggs. But I much prefer that. I love being able to give eggs. You know, I often take, or have in the past, taken eggs to art and, you know gifted eggs. I'm much happier doing that than not having any eggs. So we'll see. I think Ludo said he'd come this week. So 
that will be good. I do hope these two cockerels work together. I don't really want to get rid of this cockerel. It seems fine at the moment. Um, and obviously if Ludo fetches us two or three more hens, it might be okay to keep two. We'll see. It's interesting how the... The cockerel just seems to be with them and watching over them and not eating himself. You know, the others are scraping around and he's just... And quite often he'll call them for food. I sort of think, does he really not eat very much? Okay, I'm going to go in and get warm. It's a bit cold out here. 